guys, we're in the forest park and um, there's a little dog running around and so I'm just letting Lincoln kind of lead what he wants to do. As you can see, I'm not holding him or anything. Um, I've been giving him some treats and stuff. She didn't sit down with him so that he feels even better. But he is watching the dog. Um, the owner is aware that Lincoln is um, nervous and he's being great. He's keeping his dog at a really comfortable distance for Lincoln. Lincoln doesn't want to go any closer, so we're not going to. We're just going to watch them from here. Yeah, was that good, my baby? That was a nice dog. Hey, that was such a nice dog. Oh, you did so good, my baby. You did so, so good. We can see the dog through the trees. Lincoln's watching it run now in the little grass. Hey. Well done, my baby. So I've just crouched down at the same level as him, keeping really calm, as I said before. His lead is really loose, so if he wants to run, well, I guess technically he could. I hope he doesn't, because I might fall over. But um, I think this is really good. His ears are forward so that he's not too stressed. He's definitely curious, that's for sure. See if I can turn around a little bit because they're they've kind of done a big circle around us. Oh, you're doing so well, my boy. This is such good behavior. I'm so proud of you. Huh? It's a nice dog, my boy. He's so nice. Hey. So basically they walked past the um, end of that little path there, if you can see a path. And they're heading towards the gate now. So Lincoln's just watching. Um, they did look at each other right in the beginning, um, but they didn't come close to each other. But for me, this is a very positive interaction because um, I read an article and it said, you know, socialization with dogs starts from the moment they see each other. So. Um, this was really good. You can see Lincoln's ears are still fine. I mean, he's a little bit cautious, obviously. His mouth's closed, he's not happy. But um, overall, I think this was really positive. We had no pulling, so. There you go, now you've really chilled, hey? Are you happy, my boy? Was that a good one? You can see there, he's happy now. Okay, should we carry on our walk? Oh, have a nice stretch. Good job. These kind of things, like believe it or not, they're very exhausting for Lincoln. Like, we hardly walk, but when we get home, I think it's like emotional. Like, he will be really tired after this. Um, so, yeah, I'm so happy with that. Hopefully, we'll see another one. Um, I know a lot of you have made suggestions that I should take Lincoln to a dog park, but we live out in the countryside and there are no dog parks but, but we have lots of opportunity for seeing other dogs you can actually get a dog park then wherever it is lots of opportunities for seeing dogs um, and mostly he does see them at a distance but I think what I'll do is I'll keep doing it as I did today until I can find someone that we can actually trust and work with where I'll just let Lincoln lead and let me know how close he wants to go. Um, yeah, and just keep building up these positive experiences where nothing bad happens to him. So, yeah, I'm still feeling a little bit um, sick. You can probably hear I'm like out of breath and I've literally been walking for like five minutes. Um, it's so bad, but Lincoln was desperate to get out the house. So I thought what I would do is come to this little park because it's really close by. And just do some um, training with them. So I got my little treat bag in my pocket. And I was just going to go through some commands and stuff with him. He's looking for the apples, you guys. No apples, Piggy. Come on, no apples. Let's go. Come on. Oh, he's so good at being stubborn, you guys. Come on, my baby. There's no apples. Oh, I don't see any anyway. All right, we'll go looking for apples. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.